Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're gonna break down the Dionese D Explorer 2 jacket and pants available at Revzilla.com. So what you're getting with the D Explorer 2, this is gonna be your top of the line adventure jacket and pants outfit from Dionese, a true four season functionality. And we're calling this four season because you are gonna have massive amounts of ventilation with this. When you open up the vents on the jacket, you are gonna have a thermal Gore-Tex liner. And you're really gonna see this as that option that can tackle a wide variety of different styles and environments out there that you might that you might you know encounter on your dual sport or your adventure rather motorcycle. Now, when we're taking a look at this, the note for the Explorer 2, this is replacing the Explorer 1, and the name of the game here from Dionese has been refinement. Refinement in style, refinement in materials. Overall, the jacket feels less bulky, and it just feels more comfortable to wear. This is especially important if you are gonna be using this off-road on an adventure bike, you need that range of motion. Now, the other key thing to keep in mind here is that Dionese has reduced the price by about $100. So the previous version set around the $900 price point for the jacket. The, uh, the jacket is now coming in around the $800 mark. And in my opinion, I think it's a nicer jacket than the predecessor. And then when you're looking at the pants, the pants are now coming in around the $500 mark. The previous version used to be around about $530, $540 or so. So they've knocked a few dollars off the price of the pants as well. So it's great when you see a manufacturer give you more for less. And that's really the biggest takeaway that I had when looking at the D Explorer dose. So really what we're gonna see from Rich's standpoint, now Rich is on my left-hand side. He is our model for this video. He stands at 5'11" weighs in 190 pounds, has a 41 inch chest. He's wearing the jacket in a size 52, correlates perfectly with the size chart for both the jacket as well as the pants. No surprises there. Sizes for both will range from a 44 up to a 64, and there are gonna be short and tall sizes available. So a wide variety of sizing for the D Explorer 2s. Just make sure you're using Dionese size chart, no surprises. Four different colors are available. And keep in mind too, that Revzilla's price match guarantee is in effect on this. So regardless of what you're looking for, you are guaranteed to get the lowest price. But again, Dionese has dropped off about $100 for the jacket and you're getting a nicer piece as we're looking through this. And this is top of the food chain. So there's really nowhere to bump up to this if you're looking for adventure gear from Dionese. So breaking down really what we're seeing. So the first thing we're gonna talk about you have three different materials coming into play. You have Duratex, which is the main construction. We're now seeing this Trixier reinforcement at the shoulders as well as down the forearm. And this is kind of Dionese's proprietary take on super fabric. Um, and it replaces the big bulky panels that used to sit in the shoulders of this. Much better range of motion, a little bit more lightweight, really great flexibility. And then of course, massive amounts of 3D mesh throughout the jacket. And that's where you're getting that true four season functionality when we're looking at this piece. It's one of those jackets you can wear in any different condition. So starting with the collar, a little bit of neoprene at the Adam's apple and you are gonna have this snap opening. Now the one thing to note here, this is really just kinda hold that open. There's no snap on the left side. I would have loved to have seen a snap on both sides just so when you're riding around in the summer months, you could open that, the, uh, the collar so it's not flopping around on both sides um, just for a bit of uh, extra airflow through there. But that's my, my minor nitpick at the collar. You can leave that Velcro closed if you'd like to, and then you are gonna have an adjuster at the collar as well. This is gonna come in handy if you are using this in the rain. Like I said, there's gonna be a Gore-Tex membrane on the inside, the liner, that we'll take a look at in a moment. But by having this Velcro adjuster at the collar, you can cinch the collar down to make sure you're not having any water push from the top down into the jacket. As we work our way down the arm, you're gonna have the tricks here at the shoulders on this. CE level two armor is now at the elbows and the shoulders. And you're gonna notice you do have the bicep adjuster down here. As you're looking at some of the pops of color, there is gonna be asymmetry in the color patterns as you work your way through the jacket. So a little pop of color over on the right side, you're gonna pop a color over on the left breast. No color is gonna be on the right side of this. Now we do have this mesh panel open, but if you take a look at it with the mesh panel closed, you will see that asymmetry in color coming through. Now, 
One of the things that we really liked on the previous jacket, and you're gonna see it carried through here, is the massive vent that's gonna work down the inside of the arm. So again, that true four season functionality, 3D mesh throughout the entire arm. I like the fact that you can leave that open and it doesn't make the jacket look too bulky. If you want a little bit more, if you want it snug down a little bit, that's where you can adjust that bicep adjuster once that's opened. And it is a two way zip, so you can go both ways. I would say that starting at the pit and then coming out will probably be your best way to incorporate that, uh, that vent. But if you do go the other way, you are gonna have this little guard on the inside which is gonna hold the jacket closed. But again, it gets a little bit floppy and bulky that way. I'd recommend going from the pit out. You can put the hand down for me, bud. So looking down the front of the jacket, clean lines throughout, again, asymmetry coming into play, giant mesh panel. This is really the big story with the D Explorer 2, is just a massive amount of mesh panel for airflow in the summer months. You will notice that with the pockets on this, this is carried over from some of their touring jackets that we've seen. There's a little bit of an elasticated strip here. And once you start to fill up these top loading pockets, it just helps the pockets to sit away from the jacket. They don't feel like they're kind of being snug and, and cumbersome in the jacket. If you ever worn a pocket that you feel as you're putting stuff in, it just becomes bulky and you can't really use it. This really helps to make the pocket more functional. Just small little details as we're working our way through this. And if you look over at Rich's left hand, Rich, just hold your left hand straight out for me. You are gonna have a document pocket over on the left side. Again, asymmetry coming into play, just a place if you wanna keep your easy pass or a credit card or something like that, you can go ahead and do it right there. Sir, face sideways, strike the riding position for me. So you get a better view of the Trixier uh, material in this angle. You're gonna see it on the elbows, the shoulders, and when I say the elbows, it's gonna work its way all the way down the forearm, and it's really gonna help you slide. So if you go down in a crash, it just helps you slide so it doesn't catch and then cause you to tumble, and you're still getting that CE level armor at the back there. A Little bit of stretch material at the back of the arms helps for range of motion. Rich has been hitting the gym a little bit, so we can go ahead, we can snug this down. You are gonna have that adjuster at the torso on this, and then what you will notice is again, just that top loading pocket is gonna be Velcro in its construction. And then you are gonna have a waterproof zipper at the top with that. So that's where you can stick uh, you know, your cell phone or something like that if you don't wanna to have to worry about that getting wet. That is gonna be a waterproof top loading pocket. Now from this angle, you get a really good look at the rabbit pouch on the side. You're gonna have symmetry coming in with the zippers. There'll be a zipper on each side of the back and you are gonna have this little bit of a rabbit pouch here. What you can stick in there is that Gore-Tex liner. So if you're riding around, you wanna pull that Gore-Tex liner out, it's really hot in the summertime, you can stick it back there and that'll just kind of store it for you. Sir, you can go ahead and face backwards for me. Taking a look at the back, you'll get a look at the collar, a little bit of neoprene at the back. You can see how that Velcro kind of works its way around too. So you can really cinch that up underneath your helmet. I like the height of the collar. Again, if you're trying to stay waterproof, that works its way up underneath the helmet. And as you look down the back, giant, again, mesh paneling, but what really impresses me is you get the Pro Armor CE Level 2 back protector included. Very rarely do we see back protectors included with Dionysus jackets. And with this one, you get a CE Level 2 back protector included. Again, just that nice little extra feature, especially considering the Dionysus shaved about $100 off the price of this compared to the Explorer 1. Now, the one thing to note here is on the previous version, once you got this flap down, the flap could actually be completely removed. So if you were riding this in summer months and you were kind of using it regularly as a mesh jacket, you could just take off the entire back panel, stow that away, and if you needed to add it back on later, you could. With this version, it's not removable. So you'll notice that this actually folds down and then there's a little snap here. Now I don't hate this, but I wish it was a little bit more secure than just the snap, because if the snap comes undone, you're left with this entire roll just kind of flapping in the breeze, could get stuck on something on the motorcycle. Um, so again, I just wish that they would have given me something a little bit more secure than just a basic little snap at the bottom here, but you are still getting this transition to a giant mesh jacket. Rich, go ahead and face forward for me. We're gonna take a unzip here and uh, we're gonna take a look at the inside. So you can see Velcro covers the outer zipper. You got some snaps coming into play. As we work our way to the inside, what you'll notice is we had Rich just leave this on button, but if you're worried about the waterproof, you'd wanna button the waterproof liner together. And then taking this out, one of the things you'll notice is the change to the liner. So the liner used to be a two-piece liner. There was a Gore-Tex liner and then a thermal liner that zippered into that. Now, they've gone away from that. You now have a two-in-one liner, which is Gore-Tex, and then a thermal on the inside, just a light fleecy type thermal. Um, you can use it as a destination rain jacket as well because there are separate pockets on the inside. 
I like this because it's a lot less bulky than the previous version. What I don't like about this is now that you have that fleecy thermal worked into the liner, in the, th in the warmest months of the year, putting a waterproof thermal liner on underneath your jacket is really gonna be hot. Even, even with Gore-Tex, there's only so much sweat that can be wicked away. So I would say in the summer months, I'd probably just use it as a mesh jacket and get a little bit wet and let the rain cool me down. Um, but as you begin to get into spring and fall, temperatures begin to drop a little bit, you do have this Gore-Tex thermal two-in-one liner. So again, some pros, some cons with how they've changed that, but overall, it cuts down the bulk when you are using it. The negative side there is you're probably not gonna wanna use that in the hottest months of the year. Now you notice there are suspenders to the pants, and just a quick mention of the pants as we're taking a look down. You're gonna see the same materials that are incorporated into the newest version of the pants. That mass amount of mesh to the, mesh to the panels on the, on, the, uh, on the thighs, and then you get down in the Trixier for the knee protection as well. CE level knee armor in there, and then a little bit of accordion stretch above the knee. Now, with the pants, they are a standalone option. They're not really designed to be worn as an overpant, and you have to take your boots off and to get the pants on and off. It's not an over boot type pant that you'll see with a full zipper. You just have a zip that goes up to the top of the calf down there. Sir, you can go ahead and zip up for me. So an awesome favorite from Dionese has been updated. The D Explorer is now in its second iteration. And again, the biggest takeaway is Dionese really improved the jacket, improved the finish of the jacket, improved the mobility of the jacket. I like the material changes that we're seeing. It's still gonna be a great four weather or four season option. and they lower the price. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a real win-win over the previous version. Now there's a lot of folks out there that are already using the D Explorer 2 as well as the previous version, the D Explorer 1. If you wanna hear more about what they have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews. And if you're still not sure as to which outfit is right for you and your riding style, you can reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Dionese D-Explorer 2 Gore-Tex jacket. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.